Hello survivors, my name is Amarillo Sky and welcome back to Don't Starve. So we are starting off right where we left Burn E S T E B U R N. He or she let me know that I was actually being a little bit quiet. So I'm gonna work on uh making myself a little bit louder and I'm actually gonna turn the volume down just a tad. Uh I am since I am still new to YouTube, I am still trying to figure out a balance between the microphone and my game. So you guys are just going to have to hang in here with me as I try to figure that out. If you guys have any suggestions, that'd be great. My microphone is attached to my uh, headset, so I know it's not the best microphone. I was planning on when we hit 100 subscribers, I was planning on buying one of those standing microphones that are like really, really good. So until then, though, we're kind of stuck with the one attached to my microphone. So yeah. So anyways, welcome back to Don't Starve. I think in this episode we're going to work on getting my sanity up and getting food because, I don't know, I think food is important. We also need some more manure. We've got, I believe, three, and I would love to make a farm, but we need four manure to make a farm, and I'm actually freezing, so we're going to come back here. I'm going to snuggle up to the fire. Can we cook this? We can add wet fuel. Look at it. Burn. Okay. Um... Um, yes, so we've got three manure, we need one more. Guano, I think that's like, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's, a uh, bat poop. No, we're gonna get rid of this nightmare fuel for now, because this is, like, wreaking havoc on me, and it's not good. So we're gonna bring this up here, and we're gonna set this right there. And then we're gonna leave it there. And I just noticed that these need chopping down. So we're going to get these chopped down and then we're going to go food hunting because we exhausted our little bushes over there, so. We also need to start making clothes. We're going to start freezing to death at this rate. So let's see. First we're going to look at dress. Let's see. Be one with the herd. Smell included. Ew. Okay. Now let's see. A fuzzy little bit of warmth. Well, I haven't seen any rabbits yet, so... Rain hat, winter hat, keeps your noggin warm. Well, I don't have any of that stuff. Cat cat. For those who value warmth over friends... Ice cube? Puffy vest. Warm enough for winter storms. So we need a uh, koala fin trunk, silk, and beefalo wool. And so, yeah. Koala fin? I don't think I've actually ever seen one of those. Let's see if we go. We can't go find some food. And as much as I enjoy eating our uh, little friends over there. My sanity is going down. It's that freaking nightmare fuel that's doing it. Because my sanity usually doesn't go down this fast. Yeah, okay, what goop brings up my sanity, which is really weird. But it does. Let's delete that. We need to collect some of these mushrooms while we're at it. Mushrooms are always good. I don't know if those are raccoons or cats. They sound like cats, but they look like raccoons. Why not both? Why do they click off their light whenever I walk past? That's so offensive. Just like, we don't like you. We're gonna click our rock, our light off, our rock. We're gonna click our rock off. Alright, so... The night before... Last night in the game, not in real life. In the game last night... We got attacked by a whole bunch of werewolves and bats. And I know that where the bats came from, and the werewolves came from the desert. <laughs> but we're going to have to be careful, because that also means that... Well, the full moon's passed, but that means that the bats are going to continuously attack us, which isn't a good thing. Uh, measure ambient air temperature. Observe precip precipitation pro probabilities. Uh protection from strikes. Well, we're going to have to get one of those eventually. 
We need a shovel too. Oh, we need to eat. Ah, no. Clicked on things. Nom nom nom. Those looked like eggs for a second. I'm like, what? What's that? You know, there's not a whole lot of uh animals, so that it's making it really, really, really hard to survive. Oops. Well, that was easy. So as you can see, the full moon's already over, which is actually really nice. It makes it easier to survive. Oh, goodness, it's dark. Okay, we're going to have to follow the map by now. Where are we at? We're right here. Oh, okay. So we haven't explored down here a whole bunch. I think that's where we're going to head. So we got to go this way. We need one more grass for a torch. My sanity's starting to go down. It's like... There we go. What can I make? Hold on. What is that sound? Oh, they're just sleeping out in the open. Do you want to kill them? They're brave. They're braver than I am. Let's not kill them. Let's give them a little bit of a scare. Will they catch on fire? Yes, they will. Stay near fire. Aww. They're kind of cute. Where's your ex? Hi. We're gonna come explore down here a bit and see if we- yes, food, okay. Our goal today is- I wonder... Will I light that on fire? No. Can we light everything around it on fire? No? Okay. I was thinking if we light it on fire, bye bye bees, but that's not the case and my sanity's going down and I'm getting hungry. Okay, so I need to remember that this is a great place to find food over here. Because when winter rolls around, we're going to need to be able to find food. We also need to find a, uh, uh, what is it called? One of these, a wormhole that will take us to another continent because there are no beefalo on this continent that I have found so far, which isn't necessarily a good thing. <laughs> it means that... We're not going to survive the winter because we need beefalo fur and whatever a koala fump is. And since I've never seen one of those, that means it's a newer monster. <clears> Food. <throat> Saving! Yay! <clears throat> we have survived 12 days, guys, and we have made no progress whatsoever. Now let's go see if we can't find ourselves a wormhole after we eat. Okay. A full tummy is a happy tummy. We'll collect more food though while we're at it. <coughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is now that we've got some food, we're gonna run back to camp and put our stuff away. And then we will go see if we can't find a new wormhole to use to find another area because we need to find beefalo. Where am I? I'm right here. Okay. Okay. Mm well, we haven't explored over here, so we'll come explore over here real quick. <coughs> Maybe we'll get lucky and find beefalo on this continent. We haven't explored over here too much, but it doesn't look like there's a lot to explore over here. 
A beefalo would be nice. Or a herd of them. Or even just a pile of manure. It's best to be cautious now. I would agree with you, Riku. I would agree. It's flower picking time. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's a whole lot over here. We'll come up here a bit and see. Okay, well we got a lot we can explore up there too. What is pick tumbleweed? Deconstruction blueprint, yeah. Uh we'll eat the seeds. I can't do that. Okay, let's see. Learn. What did I learn? Okay, tumbleweeds. We need to start grabbing them from now on. Okay, we're gonna come down here and explore this, and then we'll go up there and explore that up there. Let's see what is over here. Rock. I need to start picking more flowers for a garland as well. Garlands help with sanity. Okay, so this goes a little further than I thought was. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. I'm going to explore over here just a bit. Try to get all this on the map. Actually, we're going to go back and we're going to pick some flowers for a new garland. Because this one's about to give out on us. That's our timer saying that our time is up. So I will end this episode here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, like, favorite, subscribe, share it with a friend. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.